Now, with a bit of a breather for people worried about getting evicted, as we reported yesterday, the CDC has issued a new moratorium on evictions until October 3rd. Housing authorities across the area are working with tenants to get money to get caught up and to get landlords the money they need as well. Ten on your side's Asia Tolliver has more on how this is happening. Some Norfolk residents can sleep easier tonight knowing they won't face immediate eviction. But I spoke to NRHA officials who worry this could put them in a worse situation come October. Yesterday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a new eviction moratorium that would last until October 3rd. This, as the Delta variant spreads and the release of federal rental aid moves at a slow pace. The extension temporarily halts evictions in counties with substantial and high levels of virus transmissions and areas where 90 percent of the U.S. population lives. That includes Norfolk, where Neely Guyon works with the Norfolk Redevelopment Housing Authority. They help residents in Section 8 housing and through their Housing Choice Voucher Program. You're just in the process of starting to look at, you know, those that have their um, outstanding rent and everything and trying to work with people actually before we started any type of eviction proceedings. Guyan says there are concerns with some people using the eviction moratorium as an excuse to not pay rent. Norfolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority has a total of over $447,000 in past due rent owed with 543 delinquent resident accounts as of July 31st. It is a fear that, you know, once it's over, then you're going to get this big lump sum amount of past due rent. The CDC cited the slow pace of state and local governments dispersing housing aid as justification for the new moratorium. Guyan says if you are someone in public housing who needs help applying for those funds, please reach out. And we want them to come talk to their property managers and see how we can get them on a plan and how to help them. On the other hand, she says not everyone's racking up debt. In fact, they have helped some people transition into becoming homeowners through this time. If you're looking for information and wanting to communicate with the NRHA, I've posted information for that over on wavy.com. I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.